All right, after uh, you know, evaluating the film and, and uh, really uh, breaking it down, I mean, it was, it was not uh, it's nothing special. I mean, Duke out executed us in the uh, critical situations. They made more plays than us uh, in the critical situations when you had to. And uh, that was really the difference in the game. We had some guys that, uh, you know, pressed really hard in a, in a few situations and, and tried to make something out of nothing when we really didn't need to do that. And, you know, it ended up biting us in the, in the rear end. So. Do you guys have any more season-ending injuries? <coughs> uh, I don't know yet. Have the guys um, from last week that were announced uh, at Jackson and Sweet in particular, have they had surgery or scheduling surgery since they're out for the season? They uh, were, were both waiting on, on their surgeries on them for swelling and those kind of things from my understanding. Okay. So, And then Smith has already had surgery. Yes, he has. When you have a situation like this, it's one thing to coach morale after a loss or a series of defeats. How different is it? to coach morale when you have something like this that you're dealing with? Well, you you know, I mean, there, there are things that are out of our control. You know, as a, as a football coach, you don't, you, you know, you like to control as much as possible and, and not worry about the things you can't control. And so that's, that's what I try to do. The, uh, you know, there are things that are, are out of our hands that happen. And we have to prepare our team, you know, to play no matter what the situation is. And so our guys understand that things happen and somebody else has got to step up and somebody's got to be ready to go. And it's another opportunity for another player to make plays. Uh, you know, I'm not so sure that uh, uh, when Pro left the game that Anthony Williams would have had the, uh, had the opportunities that he had in the game. And all he did was respond and, and make, you know, three big plays in the game. And so, you know, it's, it's, a, it's again, it's, a, you know, you have to look at it as positively as you can and understand that it's an opportunity for somebody else to make a play. Have you guys reached a point where you're considering maybe pulling some red shirts off of guys that you originally would never have done so? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely, we've reached that point. How much, Chaz had one, his first big mistake, I guess, so far in a game. How did, what did you see on film from him going back? Pray, him? I mean, he's trying to make something out of nothing. You know, he's uh, getting to a point in the game where he felt like he really needed to make a play, and he didn't need to make a play there. You know, we're okay if we uh, if we have to punt there. They, it, everything was covered. Uh, protection was breaking down at that point. I mean, and and you know, you just don't panic. Hey, if we end up taking a sack, we punt, we're okay. Uh, we're down by three, and, and we'll uh, recover, and we'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, when you, when you press and you get so outside of the system, that's when, when things, you know, I mean, you, you, sometimes those things good, work out good, and everybody thinks that was some kind of awesome play. But uh, as a coach, uh, you know, you're, you're always concerned with it. So, you know, hopefully he learns from that. I'm, I'm expecting that he will, and, and he'll be a better quarterback because of it. I thought he played pretty well. I mean, he did. He did. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, he was the running game basically, and uh, you know, he threw the ball well. Didn't didn't throw the ball into uh, coverage. He took the ball where it needed to go. His long balls were were. Uh, he gave the receivers an opportunity to make a play each time that uh, he threw it. He wasn't th overthrowing them. Uh, you know, so he had a he had he gave him a chance. He I thought he played uh, pretty well. Probably a couple of decisions in the run game we'd, he'd have liked to have had back. But, uh, you know, he was, uh, I, thought he played, I thought he played pretty tough. How difficult is it to judge progress when you have so many guys think that they don't have that kind of consistency? With yeah, you just, you, I mean, it just makes it more difficult. You, you, uh, it's hard to, uh, you know, because you're not going to have any continuity. So you, you can't, uh, you, you just got to take that out of the equation and you've got to, uh, you know, base it on what, what guys are in there. I mean, it, you know, it's just like Toe Groves, he, you know, I mean, he, he had two drops in the game. You got, everybody saw it, you know. And, I mean, I'm sitting there after the game thinking about it. It's the first time. That was his first college game, you know. And, I mean, you know, we're, half, you know, we're into the season. You're, I'm not thinking about it that way. I'm not thinking about it that way in practice. I'm not thinking about it, hey, this, this is this guy's first college football game. 
you know, where that usually happens at the beginning of the year when you're thinking that way. And, you know, he fights, his, you know, gets back, and, uh, you know, we put him in a, in a position. And I was shocked that he didn't make those plays because that's the, kind, that's the plays that he makes every day in practice. And then you go back and think, well, it was his first college football game. So the moment was probably a, a little bit bigger uh, than, than what, what he expected for it. Defensively, you guys have improved the last two weeks. Is that just a matter of better communication? And, and yeah, all, all the things or? we've been talking about each week. I think our guys are communicating better. I think uh, our pressure execution is much better. Uh, I think uh, their, their confidence level is up. You know, uh, we still, there's a, a few things here and there that we got to get corrected. And if we do that, I mean, then we, we really play a really good football game. And playing the offense that you're going to play this week, what kind of adjustments, what kind of different approach do you oh, take? It's completely week? different. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a 180. I mean, it's like there's nothing that you've done in these first four games that you will carry over to what we do this week. So you, you, you have a completely different game plan. So given the momentum that these guys have been building the last couple of weeks, how much does that affect that having to basically start from scratch with a totally different approach? Well, it, it, I mean, you're going to play Georgia Tech every year. They're in the Coastal Division. They're going to play the, you know, they're going to run their offense. It's totally different from any other offense you're going to face all year. So it's not like it's a surprise. It's not like it's something, oh, gosh, what, you know, our guys know. They understand. We've been playing Georgia Tech, you know, since they've been in school here. So they know that you, it's a, an abrupt stop in everything that you've been doing, and you start from scratch, and you, you have a game plan for this team. And then once it's over with, you, you forget that, and you go on because you're not, you're not going to face a, a team like that again. So it, it, it is what it is. I mean, our guys understand the, uh, the nature of it. It's just the way it is. Did you prep for the Georgia Tech offense any time in the preseason, spring? Yeah, we, we've done it like we've done every year. I mean, we do it in the spring. We do it in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in camp, and we do it during the season, actually, also. Is that like, what, one or two days or just the coaches? Or how does that approach? No, it's, it's – I mean, the coaches definitely – I mean, the coaches, I mean, it's quite a bit more than that. I mean, the coaches would be in the summer and everything. But with the players, it's, uh, you know, we pick out days that we are going to designate, you know, days that are, we're going to work towards uh, option football. And, uh, you know, we, we may take out, we may take uh, periods of the day, and that's all we do with those, in those periods. Larry, getting back to that inconsistency on offense, there were six three-and-outs, three-six in the third down, but a little bit last week. Yeah. But is that – Kind of where the inconsistency comes out, or is that more just out executing? Well, I mean, part of them out executing you is is you're you know you not executing. You know, I mean, uh, you you got you got everybody on the hats you want them on, and a guy doesn't execute his block, but he's there. He just doesn't execute it. You know, so you'd say they out executed you. You know, so uh, but. Yeah, your your lack of continuity and the consistency in, in who you're putting out there, and and uh, you know, as we got later into that game, I mean, we had some guys playing some positions they hadn't practiced. What do you need? To you do? know, I'm sorry, you mentioned Chaz being the running game basically last week. What what do you need to see from your running game? I guess obviously the lines continuity has been a factor, but yeah, I mean, we got to have more from them. I, I, it doesn't matter what five are out there. We got to have more from them. We got to have more from the running backs. We got to have more from perimeter blocking. We got to have more from the tight ends blocking. And we got everybody's got to give more. You know, everybody's got to give more. Is there anything? Schematic There's not you can one do to kind of compensate at all. I guess. I mean, it's it's kind of it, you got to make it do. I guess. If it right? was, I I, I mean, I, I wish I knew what it was. We're 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 searching. You know, but we have a philosophy in the way we're going to do things offensively. We're not going to we're not going to leave our philosophy. I mean, it's, it's you know, we've got to get the next guys up and the next guys ready to go, and they got to do the best job they can. And the people around them got to give more. They got to give more. Does this situation give you an opportunity to be really uniquely creative in any ways? Like, like, you know, in what, some situations, what yeah. What Baylor did against you guys a couple of years ago in the bowl game. Yeah, know, yeah. I mean, you're right. You could do – You uh, there are things that you can come up with and, uh, you know, that, that – you know, for us, we, uh, I mean, we're not in a, <clears throat> a quarterback situation. So, but we are going to have to be, you know, the, the, 
the thing is to try to get the, guy, the guys that you're going to have on the field, try to put them in the best position possible, whether that means we're going to be moving people around, which we've already been doing. I mean, and, uh, you know, we, we've just got to do a better job of it. Kim was limited at center. How did he grade out? And how limited really was he was he? okay. He was, he was limited. He was limited. You could tell that there wasn't a lot of strength in that thing. But uh, he, uh, he fought his butt off. And, and uh, you know, there were only a couple times that I thought he got overpowered. And, uh, you know, it, it'll, he'll, be, he'll be better this week. Have you guys given consideration to maybe the J.J. McCarthy played pretty well when he was in before, maybe using him at guard uh, some if you have some work? Uh, yeah. I mean, we, we've, believe me, those guys have worked. J.J.'s worked guard before. Uh, we have worked everybody in that offensive line at a lot of different positions, you know. So, and it's a good thing we have. Have you had in the fourth quarter of every game? How's that, that, I guess, positive play into your message moving forward? I mean, that's obviously yeah, we're, we're not – even with all the adversity going on, we're not that far away. All right, that's my point about everybody's got to give just a little bit more. Each guy, give, dig down and give a little bit more and finish the game. And, again, that's my responsibility, you know, to teach these guys how to finish. You know, and I've got to get that accomplished in, in practice during the week uh, because we've been in position. You know, we've been in position. We've been where we wanted to be in the fourth quarter. Now we got to finish the games. Jordan Riley saw his first action on Saturday. How did he do? He did well. He actually played really well. Uh, there's a few times that we felt like he was high, you know, but for his first game. There was not, you know, wasn't something that uh, all of a sudden you're saying, man, we're soft inside. we got to get who's in there, and it's Jordan Riley. He was uh, really good at the point of attack. There were a couple times on double teams he was a little bit high. But uh, it was really good to get him some good reps, and he's going to have to help us the rest of the way. Have you had any conversations with you guys about the stuff going on in the NFL? The I have not. In fact, we just just touched on that this morning because I haven't really – I really didn't even know what was going on. I mean, because I, I haven't seen an NFL game this year, and, you know, I don't usually get to see them during the season. And I really don't get to see the TV – uh, so I don't really know what was going on, but I was told about it this morning. And uh, but we have not we have not talked about it as a team yet. Is that something you're interested? Yeah, we may we may we may I may address it with the team. <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> excuse me, what I would do is address it with the seniors or the the older guys first, and talk with them, and then uh, see what their thoughts are, and then we'll talk about it as a team. You guys obviously aren't on the field for the national anthem. But if, if you were, <clears throat> you have, I mean, what would be your preference in terms of? Wanted to kneel, would you be okay with that? Or? Well, I haven't talked about it with the team, so I, I, here's what I would say. You know, and I, all I can do is give you my opinion. You know, my on what I would do. I would do what I would do is stand there proud, and and uh, you know, I I think uh, I think we have a great country. I think we got a lot of problems in this country. I think we've had a lot of problems forever in this country. You know. And uh, you, you, everybody has a right. Everybody has a right to protest whatever they want. That's that's part of what this country is all about. You know, uh, they can choose to do it whenever they want to do it, and just understand there are consequences to everybody's actions, no matter what they do. Sometimes they're good, and sometimes they're bad. You know, uh, but we're not out there, so we really don't have to deal with it. It, it wouldn't be so much for me talking with the team about, you know, would we stand or would we kneel. It'd be more about. What are the issues? What, what, what are they protesting? Why? And how, you know, how can we become a part of the answer and a solution to it instead of part of the problem? Moving into another sensitive subject, given the severity of your injury situation, how concerned are you? Are you worried are you, that you're going to be facing a team that does a lot of cut blocking this week? I, I don't. I mean, we really don't ever even address that part of, uh, you know, I, I think Georgia Tech uh, blocks like they block. I mean, I, I don't – it's legal. Uh, you know, if it's not legal, it gets called. And uh, it, it's – I mean, we don't even really talk about it. I mean, we, we, we're going to play hard. We're going to play low. We're going we're gonna to get after it. We're going to be disciplined and, and uh, you know, understand that if you're going to stop them or you're going to limit them on offense, you've got to be where you're supposed to be and you've got to make tackles. Everybody's got to run to the football. Is there anything comparable you've had as a coach with the number of injuries? I mean, the opening month, no, no. the number of injuries. No. Is anything even like late no. in the season or no. nothing at all? No. <laughs> no. Do you 
I mean, is it difficult not to like try to dig in and search for reasons or? Oh, don't think we're not searching and digging, and and like, and I'm looking for answers, and I'm and I'm wanting to know what, why. Yes. Like, I mean, people have emailed me asking about y'all shoes that you're wearing. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I know there's people, you know, I, I get all kind of suggestions, you know, and I appreciate everybody's, you know. Because I'm, we're searching, but we're we're checking everything out. I mean, everything. The way we do things in the off season, year round. The way we don't do things in the, you know, year round. Everything. I mean, we're looking at. I mean, we're we're looking at everything. Another question. But it. Sorry. It's not like this has been happening every year, you know. So, I mean, I, but no, I do not think it's the shoes that we wear. Or the equipment, or the. That's, no, right. I don't. Another I don't. question is the changing. No, it has nothing to do with it. I think that feels. I think that feels in great shape. And those are used elsewhere. And there been no yeah, I mean, it, there, there's nothing to do with that. We're, you don't see, you don't see any turf tearing up. You don't see our guys sliding around. I mean, their, their footing is great out there. I mean, it's been, that's been, that's really been unbelievable to me, that it's been that good. And you think about the first week we did it, on that Friday we had a, I mean, a, I mean, it rained hard, hard. Went out there on Saturday, had no problems. Is there a point where you just, it's just one of those things? And you kind of it's been it that way from the beginning for me. I've been saying that from the beginning. It's one of those things. It is what it is. I can't, I can't sit there and worry about that. And, and I mean, I got enough to worry about. That, that I can't, I have no control over. I got to worry about the things I can control, and that's the people that's going to be on the field. I one more about Jordan Riley. Um, what'd you like when you recruited him? What do you think he brings in terms of? He's a big body guy that's physical that uh, that can, you know, play more than one gap inside. He can hold the point. Uh, I think he's, you know, I mean, he's a puppy, he's a freshman, you know, and he's gonna and he's playing inside, which is a tough thing because you're in there against some pretty big, grown men. And uh, I think he's gonna really be a good football player. Coach, when you look at uh, Georgia Tech quarterback uh, Marshall, uh, just talk about what you see on him. It seems like he's running that. Oh, he's doing a great job. Just what Paul wants. I mean, the guy's he's fast. He's got a lot of quick twitch. He can make you miss. He's tougher than nails. I mean, he's a quarterback. I mean, he's not a big guy, but he'll take hits and, and bounce up, and it's no big deal to him. And he's, uh, he's, he's running the offense very well, and he throws the ball effectively. Coach, do you uh, go a particular way in regards to changing your team's goals throughout the season when it comes to the flow of the season and how it's going, you know, compared to whatever team goals you set at the Yeah, I mean, there's some goals that uh, you're, you know, at some point you're not going to be able to reach them, you know, if you don't keep going in a positive direction. So we do talk about it, and then we reset goals or, you know, but we have we had four goals, and so we, we, we will continue to work towards those goals. And if, if uh, hopefully we can keep things going in a positive direction. If we don't, then we'll have to re reassess them. What reassessment has been done at this point? None. Today, I not on I hadn't seen them today. I saw them yesterday, but yesterday they were uh, they were down, you know, like I would expect them to be. They were hurting, uh, you know, and then at the end of practice, it was like, okay, guys, it's over with, you know, it's time to move on. Uh, nobody else feels sorry for you, you know, nobody. I promise you, Georgia Tech's not feeling sorry for North Carolina today, so. It's uh, put it to bed just like everything else, and, and let's roll, and let's get ready for Georgia Tech. All right, thanks, folks. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it,